Hey guys, right here I have a 2018 Aldi S3 Saloon. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. Although it is of the flip key design, this S3 is actually equipped with Audi's Comfort Key Smart Keyless Entry and Start System. So, just have the key on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the indentation on any of the front door handles. The side mirrors stay fold in until you turn on the ignition. And to unlock the car, just tap the area again behind any of the front door handles. Along with that smart keyless entry is push button start. So to start the S3, make sure the key is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the left of the gear lever. The third generation S3 features a rack and pinion power steering system with electric assistance. The S3 gets a sport steering wheel in leather with the S badging on the bottom spoke, contrast stitching around the inner rim, sport grips at 10 and 2, perforated sections around the sides, and a flat bottom design. Audi's 7-speed Astronic Dual Clutch Automated Manual Transmission is the sole option for the S3 in Singapore. Astronic uses two sets of clutches, one controlling the odd gears and another controlling the even gears in order to achieve faster shift times and better fuel consumption over regular automatic or manual transmission. Sport mode is present on this transmission as is manual shifting capabilities. The latter can be controlled two ways, either by the gear lever or by the pedal shifters behind the top two steering wheel spokes. Rear parking sensors are standard. Drive Select, which controls the S3's driving modes, is selected by a button on the dashboard. Five modes are on offer, Auto, Dynamic, Individual, Efficiency, and Comfort. Auto is the default mode where the car automatically adjusts the settings to provide the best balance between comfort, efficiency, and a sporty drive. With Dynamic mode, the car tightens the steering, improves the throttle response, and provides higher shift points for the transmission, all to provide drivers with a more engaging and exciting drive. Dynamic mode also opens up the exhaust valves for a louder exhaust note. Individual mode lets drivers select their own preferred settings for the engine and transmission, the steering, the quattro system, and the engine sound. As the name suggests, efficiency mode trades outright power for better fuel consumption figures. In this mode, throttle is less responsive, transmission shift points are as soon as possible, the steering is lighter, and the climate control power is reduced. Lastly, comfort is best suited for travelling on rough roads as the car is programmed to prioritise a smooth drive. The S3 Saloon comes with safety features such as 7 airbags, interlock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, traction control, electronic differential lock, an alarm system with immobilizer, and isofix child seat anchor points for the front passenger seat and two outer rear seats. This S3 is fitted with 18-inch alloy rims in a 5 parallel spoke design. The tyres are 22540R18 Dunlop Sportmax RT units. Found at all four corners are ventilated disc brakes, and the suspension is McPherson struts in front and a rear multi-link setup. When it first came out back in 1996, the A3 was Audi's smallest vehicle on sale. That position was then taken up by the A2 between 1999 and 2005, and later the A1 from 2010 onwards. The A3 is a C-segment vehicle that is positioned below the A4. As Audi is part of the Volkswagen Group, the A3 is built on the same platform as other C-segment vehicles within the group, and hence, it is related to cars like the VW Golf, the Seat Leon, and the Skoda Octavia. 
The current A3, which was unveiled at the 2012 Geneva Motor Show and subsequently facelifted for the 2017 model year, rides on the modular MQB platform. Like its predecessor, if more power is needed, buyers of the third generation A3 can go for the S3 or the RS3. New to the third generation A3 is the availability of the G-Tron, which runs on compressed natural gas, or the e-tron plug-in hybrid variants. Another new item with the third iteration of the A3 is a 4-door saloon body style that joins the existing 3- and 5-door hatchbacks and convertible. Under the bonnet of the S3 is a 2-litre, dual of 8 cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline 4 petrol engine with variable valve timing and direct injection. This engine produces 286 horsepower at 5400 to 6500 rpm and 380 newton meters of torque at 1850 to 5300 rpm. 0 to 100 km power takes 4.8 seconds onto a 250 km power top speed. 55 liters is the fuel tank capacity, and the combined fuel consumption for the S3 Astronic is 6.5 liters per 100 km. 151 grams of carbon dioxide is emitted per kilometer, and the S3 comes standard with Audi's Quattro permanent all-wheel drive system. Exterior features of the S3 include automatic auto-leveling LED projector headlights, automatic wipers, headlight washer system, LED daytime running lights, LED indicators for the front and sides, LED front and rear fog lights, LED rear lights, LED sequential rear indicators, LED rear number plate lights, aluminum look side mirrors, body colored door handles, an S design body styling kit, and quad oval exhaust pipes. Central locking speakers, bottle holder and storage below, and right here, mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions, and you do have your window lock right here as well. Brightness adjustment. Dorsals. And the driver's seat in this S3 does get full powered adjustments with all of your controls located right down there together with your lumbar support. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how she revs.
Dual Zone Automatic Climate Control System On Off Button Fan Speed Different Modes Driver Side Temperature with your Air Conditioning Button Front and Rear Defrost Recirculation And your Passenger Side Temperature with your Automatic Mode Cup Holders Storage Together with a cigarette lighter or a power outlet depending on what you use it for. Right here is the S3's electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. This button activates or deactivates the automatic stop start feature. If you do have the feature activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or a traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol that the S3 uses. Stability control and this button retracts the display back into the dashboard if you did not want it exposed. This S3 is fitted with the MMI Navigation Plus head unit. This system features a 7-inch color display, various media connectivity options and navigation. Sound is put through the Bang & Olufsen sound system with 14 speakers and 705 watts of power. The Bang & Olufsen sound system that this S3 has is actually quite good. The display right above is controlled using a set of controls located down the center console. You do have these two toggle switches. The one on the left, if you push up, goes to your navigation or map, and if you push down, goes to your telephone. The one on the right, push up, goes to radio, and push down, goes to media. There is this knob that goes to left, goes to right, goes up, down, scrolls left, scrolls right, and clicks down for enter. Two option buttons on either sides of the knob, and behind it, menu and back buttons. There is also your volume and power knob right here, which if you click left or right, doubles up as your seat track buttons. Now, we are currently in your media playback menu, with your list of songs right here. If you click, if you click the knob to the right, you can bring up a list of options, where you can bring up your sound system settings, bass treble, subwoofer, balance fader, various sound effects, sound dependent volume. You can also repeat the track, random playback, input level, Bluetooth settings, connection manager, and detailed track information. And to go back, you can either click the knob to the left or press the back button. Now, if we click the knob to left once more, we can bring up your folders where you can look at your artists, albums and all that. And click the knob to left once more to bring up your list of media options. Bluetooth audio streaming, auxiliary, SD card, CD, USB and whatnot. And to go back to the main menu, hit the menu button. Next up, radio where you can access your FMA menus. Sound basically goes back to your sound system settings for your entertainment. But you can also select your telephone, navigation, announcements, and speech dialogue system um, sound settings. Right above, car with your Audi drive select menu. You can also bring up your vehicle settings, date and time, steering wheel button, exterior, exterior lights, background lights, and central locking. Driver assist settings, air conditioning settings, and your servicing and checks menu. And the telephone, you can obviously dial a number, look at your phone book, look at your call lists and whatnot. Navigation, enter destination, you can also switch to map, 
right here if we click the knob down you can use the touchpad which is right above the knob to scroll to your desired location hit the back button to go back to your normal maps you can now use the wheel scroll it in and out to zoom in and out and you can switch to destination entry where again at the destination switch to map and the address favorites directory special destinations coordinates and that's about it you can go to the map straight away and lastly settings language date and time units brightness and whatnot Central locking, this car does have heated and power folding side mirrors. On the steering wheel, the left spoke, the arrows, this wheel, the left and right buttons, view and return actually controls your multi-information display. If we use the wheel, we can go between your consumption information, driving data short term, driving data long term, energy information, and under the two driving datas, you do have your average fuel consumption, average speed, elapsed time, and distance travel. If we click the left and right buttons, we can bring up your additional display, which is the one on the right. Reset values, and click view to view this setup instead. If we hit the left and right arrows, you can go between your media information, navigation, telephone, and back to your driving data. On the right spoke, Bluetooth telephone control, voice control, volume, click the wheel down to mute the system, seek track buttons. This button repeats your navigation guidance instruction, and this button is um, configurable. So you use that system, you use the system to select what you want this button to do. Currently it is being set to changing your media option. On the right stalk, wiper controls. On the top left stalk, indicator controls. And on the bottom left stalk, cruise control. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Adjustable front center armrest with storage and your USB and auxiliary ports right in there. Frameless auto dimming rear view mirror, LED interior lights, sun visor for the driver's side gets a vanity mirror, and LED lights, and the driver does get a grip handle.
All right. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Window control, storage, speaker, and the rear seat back since this S3 do fold down. They split 40 20 40 when folding. And to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then this lever folds down the right seat and the middle seat. And there is another lever on that side that folds down only the left seat. To fold down only the middle seat, there is a lever somewhere there. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. Headroom might be a bit limited but leg room is actually quite alright. There are cutouts on the front seat backs that help with a bit of leg room. And the seats are still nice and comfortable. Also on the front seat backs are storage pockets, rear aircon vents in the middle, power outlet, rear center armrest, with cup holders, Right above. For both sides at the back are grip handles and hooks. And there are also hooks on the B pillars. Rear reading lights. They are LED powered as well. Pop the boot lid open, you can use either the button on the key or the touchpad beneath the Audi badge on the boot lid itself. Boot space in the S3 is 390 litres. The rear seat backs can be folded down to reveal a total of 845 litres of space. Off to the left of the boot is a hook to hang items on, a storage net and a power outlet. Under the boot floor is the vehicle's tyre repair kit toolkit and jack.
adjustable headrests front and rear Window control, bottle holder, storage, and speakers. The front passenger seat in this S3 gets full powered adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as the driver's side. I did forget to mention this on the driver's side, but the only manual adjustment for the seat is in the form of thigh support, adjusted using the lever right here. Storage pocket, right down here. It is a decent glove box, not that big, but not that small. The CD player and SD card slots are located right in here. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with LED lights as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2018 Audi S3 Saloon. Thanks for watching and goodbye.